Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for this, the class of 2015. Okay, we see the five seniors on the ice, also student manager Joe Vicario honored here before tonight's game. Karapowski. Now down low, Chase Norris cutting to the net. Garbowski to Norris! Oh, and the feet was just behind him. We've seen that play a million times here at RIT. And Brady Norris had an open net, but the puck was a little late getting there. Just a tad late, which gave Will Dung enough time to get in position. You gotta love how they're moving the puck here. Perfect, and Garbowski just a tad behind the stick there of Norris. And down the ice this will go. Played by Will Dunn to the far side. Crashing down and tipped ahead by Skirving who puts it back in. And the Tigers lead 1-0. Todd Skirving with the goal. Well, I just thought Will Dunn, he, he took forever to play that puck behind the net. And by the time he got back in position, I don't think he was set. He gets down, he's been giving up rebounds all night. And that one he kept, he watched the initial save here. He does, he can't locate the puck. And then there you see Skirving, no body on him, right there for the cleanup. That was a breakdown on so many levels for the Lakers. Norris, Karpowski, back to Kukali, the blast. Oh, it's in! No, it's waved off immediately. They're going to say goaltender interference. So the horn is sounding, the light went on, and immediately the goal is waved off, and that is probably the correct call. John, as we'll take another look. And Will Dong even knew it, or even turned to the official and said, absolutely. Let me see here. This will conclusively yep. say. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's real close, real close. Wayne Wilson, meanwhile, is furious. He's asking for a review on this. You have to, right? Well, they, they'll go to the overhead cam. You've got to review that. Get your rope block out, everybody. No, that's, <laughs> what was that, Brandon Thompson? that Mitchell I'm trying to see who it was for the Tigers that's Mitchell in yep. front yep if we can take another look at this from the overhead cam one Mitchell. two his leg is going in I, yep. I, I honestly I would not yeah and they they have just ruled yep that uh, that is no goal it was close Bodo ahead. Here's Charbonneau. The wow, he scores. Jonathan Charbonneau has tied the game at one. It was, it was the first kind of rush that they've had. Skirving did not go to the dressing room. He's going to stay. He's nodding his head. He's looking over there at the bench. He's going to need some time here. All right, five seconds remaining, but Mercyhurst with the possession. Charbonneau going in. Charbonneau, the shot. Rotola, the save. Clear to the near side. Penalty has expired. And Rotola with the save. And listen to the RIT faithful. Excellent. Looks like the Lakers generated some good opportunities. And now we get the official timeout on the ice as the Tigers have killed off the major in a 1-1 game. 19 seconds remaining in regulation. Mercyhurst playing here for overtime, apparently. McGowan comes up with it. McGowan cutting in front. Sitting there. Miller goes down. Here's a two-on-two. -two. We've seen this before. Natsgam. Back to Bodo, but Kukali with the block. Three seconds in regulation, and we are headed to overtime. Big, big deflection by Kukali. That almost spelled disaster for the Tigers. We will keep it right here. And for folks not familiar with the college game, you do not get a loser point for going to overtime. There is no shootout. Five minutes, John, that's all that separates the Tigers from getting a home playoff series. Right, exactly. But again, the Tigers maintaining control here in the Mercier's down. 
McGowan, Garbowski calling for it. McGowan opposite side. Oh, and getting over there in time was Brandon Will Dunn for his 39th save of the evening. The Lakers look asleep here in overtime. I mean, the Tigers just swarming the puck. I mean, they've had the puck down here for, uh, what, two minutes, it seems like? The Tigers just attack. Will Dunn with a big save. Keep an eye on Will Dunn here as we approach. Coming up on a minute soon, it's buck 30 left. Powell with the steal, Powell in front of Goldberg and it's knocked away. And that bouncing puck is held in. Down low, in front, oh Powell was all alone and couldn't connect. A one-timer would have won it. Now here's the other direction. That's coming in, knocked away, Senior. The good defensive play by the Tigers. Gettinger holding it in. Gettinger, set in front and that just goes wide. One minute remaining, Gettinger knocked down by Powell. And another block shot here by the Tigers, and that goes to the near corner. Will Dung's leaving, Gino. Will Dung is off the ice. You can never, ever see this in a tie game. The extra attacker on the ice. The Tigers can win it with the empty net. Will this do it? The Tigers are the third seed. Are you kidding me? is erupting right now. What a sequence there. The Lakers nearly stole it. Had a couple of good looks. RIT not only to clear the puck, but to get the empty netter. This was a game that the Tigers needed to have, and let's face it, they earned it. They outplayed the Lakers tonight. Here's some, look at that. That ball, you know, the puck gets blocked out in front, gets cleared, and then you get the empty netter. Tigers tighten things up when they had to there at key times of this game, certainly here in overtime. You may go years and years and years without seeing that scenario once again. Pulling the goaltender, but that was the play for versus. They had to do it. Had to do it because a tie does them no good, and it almost paid off. And they had the puck in deep, had a couple of good looks. That was the right call by Rick Gottfried. Miles Powell goal. gets the empty net goal in the most unlikely of fashions. Hey, we'll be here in two weeks. Opponent to be determined. Post game show coming up next. The Tigers earned it here tonight. This is RIT Sports Zone Live.